there are certain things we Brits never give up on. England will lift the World Cup, a Brit will win at Wimbledon, and the sun will surely shine on our great British summer. And when the sun does shine, all we need to enjoy ourselves are a bucket and spade and a pair of bathers. And your umbrella and your jumper and your coat and your wellies and a grim determination to have fun no matter what. Because, yes, British holidays do have this reputation for being a bit of an ordeal, but remember, whatever doesn't actually physically kill you stone dead can only make you stronger. So, in this year of the staycation, I'm leaving the wife and children behind and heading off on a quest to discover if holidays in rainy old Britain can compete with the sun-soaked glamour of foreign holidays. I'll be communing with crustaceans. Go to sleep. I think I could get him to stop smoking as well at the same time. I'm at Conversing with cleaners. It's a log! <laughs> that is a log jam and a half, isn't it? Playing with fire. Hey! And getting sexy with seaweed. Russell Brand. Yes, I'm taking the plunge to experience all sides of the Great British Summer Holiday in 2009. There goes. To find out if it still feels like the childhood holidays we all remember. Ooh. This is all right. Or whether, in fact, it's a bit more like the ones we're trying desperately hard to forget. <laughs> <laughs>